had the block butler. Um, I didn't have much organization um, going on at all. I had a few different drawers in the area below where I keep my MCXL machines. And I, a lot of the blocks were in the boxes they came in. It would be extremely difficult for me to manage how many I had of each block at any given time. So managing inventory, managing just actually grabbing the block when you want to get it efficiently and quickly to go ahead and build whatever restoration you're making. So with the butler, it's you can see everything you have at any given moment very easily. So I have it organized where it's right on the wall, right next to my um, milling machines. And I have it there. And what I have it is each column, I go from left to right. I have it organized by like a shade guide. And I have all my Emacs in one section and I'll have all of my lab um, Felt's Pathic in one section, I'll have Vita in a section, Katana in a section. So at any given time, I can tell quickly how many blocks of each shade and size I have. So when I'm placing an order, I can quickly say, okay, you know what, I need low on that, low on that. And I can really quickly determine my inventory. So it's extremely um, easy to manage. So, mm -hmm. and it's extremely well made too. That's the other thing that I find really remarkable because I've had it now for, I think like 10 years. I mean, yeah. it's, it's been a really long time and it's just, it, it, the material is like this medical grade silicone. And when you're pulling the blocks in and out, you're not finding over time that it's fatiguing or it's stretching or it's becoming any issues as far as wear and tear. It looks like the day I got it. So um, I, I, I think that it's a no brainer really, honestly. It's, something that I enjoy every day and it, it's a, it, it, you did a great job with the design of it. I know you said you changed it, but I don't know what you had to change. <laughs> it's good. We, we, we've made it a smaller board. So it's actually okay. 10, 10 by 10 rather than you had one which was 400 holes. So four yeah. separate boards will now do the same. Um, okay. And one of the driving things, uh, I know a lot of, a lot of dentists have some wonderful solutions using simple pegboard concept where there's a hole in a solid material. Right. We tried right. that ourselves, but I was unhappy that the blocks were either too tight or too loose. Right. It'll work, obviously, if you're putting it in a drawer, but to put mm -hmm. it on the wall, do, you, do, do, do patients ever see it on the wall? Yeah, so I have it in an area where I have a cove where I can bring my patients right to watch their restorations being milled. I have two MCXLs side by side. And in this little area, when you walk into this little cubby, they're right to the right on the wall is where I have it hung. So it's also a great way when I'm explaining to the patient, you know, a, a, a common conversation we're always having is, oh, see, your, your tooth is it's being milled, but it's lavender if it's Emacs, right? So then I'll show them on the board what it represents different um, shades and you see the different values of the lavender and then we're going to put it in the oven. So it's extremely um, good for show and tell and the patients really get very engaged. They're always impressed by the whole process. 